Hey, what is good, my fellow YouTube fam? It's your boy Aaron speaking, and welcome to part seven. Hot takes, bro. If you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, you're sleeping. Go follow your boy at It's Aaron Speaking, and y'all better come with this. You better come with this, bro. I don't want to hear no cold ass takes. I'm not trying to hear no whole lot of red or fucking Playboy Cardi's the greatest trap artist of this generation, bro. Please give me some good takes, fam. So we in here. Kendrick, although a great musician, is not close to a top tier lyricist. Hmm. I mean, there's so many good lyricists that I guess, I guess. I mean, that is a hot take. It's hard to agree with that, bro. He is so good lyrically, in my opinion. But then again, you probably, I know you, bro. I know you fuck with a lot of real hip hop. So you probably know a lot more lyricists than me, so... Hope this is a troll, I'm dead ass. <laughs> My boy Yes says whole lot of red is overhated. I'm pretty sure he's trolling because he knows how many times this kind of take has been out. This is like the most popular take on hip hop IG. I was trolling. See, there you go. <laughs> My boy the Toxirus or Toxirus, whatever. Go, go look up his YouTube channel. He's pretty lit, bro. Albums get overrated or underrated as soon as they drop just because people only listen for once as soon as people have time to listen more often most omg album of the year or bro that's trash bro facts bro claims get thrown out and replaced by something more chill so don't listen to the opinions on the albums that dropped two hours ago see that's a real take that's a facts b facts kendrick lamar is overrated Hmm. I wish you elaborated more. Like, what do you, how is he overrated? Like, you just don't think he's that good? Or, you know what I mean? My boy Waka, Rodeo is Travis's worst studio LP and not counting Huncho Jack. Okay. That's a hot take. It's not super, super spicy, but it's pretty hot. My boy, yet again, 808s is Kanye's worst album. Ah. Ah. Hurt my soul, fam. I love that album. That's probably one of my favorite. It's just very influential. Yes, all right, I respect it. I respect it, that's your opinion. I don't agree, but I would say Jesus is King is his worst album, but hey. Action Bronson got the best discography out of Queens. Um, I, don't know, I don't know a lot of rappers from Queens. Yes, I know what other rappers are from Queens, including Nas, Pharaoh, Tribe, Cool G Rap. Not necessarily that he's a better rapper than these guys, but I would much rather sit through all of Bronson's albums than any other rapper's discography out of Queens. Okay. Okay. I don't really think that's that big of a hot take because Action Bronson is actually good. You feel me? Like, if you would have said fucking Pierre Bourne or Lil Tecca, it's different. Bronson is, yeah, you feel me? Yet again, yet again, here we go. Kanye should have spent his whole career focused on being a producer. That's pretty spicy, bro. That's pretty spicy. What makes you say that? Like, you don't, that's, that's crazy. Can you imagine? Hmm. Maybe he'd be more like a Pharrell at this moment. Stay over Soldier Boy. <laughs> Stupid. My boy Shells Dan, he a OG, bro. He been following me for a minute. Mike Shinoda, the man. Linkin Park, the man. Is extremely underappreciated as an artist. Yo, I, low key, word. Word, bro. Contributed a lot to Linkin Park with good lyricism and is a brilliant, brilliant producer. Br phenomenal. Engineer, everything. Songwriter, everything. And he could sing. And he could sing. Mike Shinoda is hella underappreciated, underrated, all that. Big facts. My boy King with a capital K. Not music related, but bucket hats over snapbacks. <laughs> ah! Yo, listen. You know what? I respect it. I respect it. Rap Shrine. Lil Bo equals J. Cole? Weird. My boy, yet again, Lift Yourself by Kanye is more lyrical than anything Lil Pump has ever released. Hey. Scoopity doop. Scoopity scoop. My boy Isaac, that's my brother right there. Lil B is one of the most influential rappers of this decade. That shit ain't hot. That's facts. Where's the facts machine? Griselda would out rap every label in the game and that's on my mom. <laughs> that's not really a hot take because they're fucking great. So my boy, a hey, Lil Baby over Tupac and Biggie. That's pretty hot, bro. That's pretty hot. I mean, I can understand. Like if you didn't grow up in that era, then I get it, but. 
I disagree. My boy right here, MF Doom is not a top tier lyricist. Okay. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that. I don't know. I don't really listen to him, so I don't know. My boy Sting, Good AM is Mac Miller's best all around album. That's not a hot take. Next! J. Cole's the Kendrick Lamar for simple people. That's kind of a hot take. It's funny, yo. That's hilarious how he's right. You see Friday Night Vinyl? J. Cole is his favorite rapper. Like, literally. Like, he got probably a million of his vinyl signed by Cole. Like, dead ass. That's hilarious how they're right next to each other. Lil Baby over Mac Miller? Okay. I respect it. That's more of a preference thing, but I mean, my boy Glitch. Virtual Blow's cover of Pop Smoke, Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon was better than the cover we received as the metal role signified his goodbye from the rap game when we would still get music years after his passing. While the Virgil cover showed the true shining stardom he would reach after his death. Low key, this is mad deep for no reason. Like, I mean, I guess. Staying again, Fruitian by Daniel Caesar is the best R&B album of the 2010s. Never heard it, so I couldn't even tell you. My boy Grizz Dog, Tyler's a better rapper than Earl now. F all that noise Earl puts out. I don't listen to Earl, so I'm... Tyler's dope, so. Random pressing, 90% of Kanye's discography is dog <laughs> Yo, when I say bring the hot takes, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. My boy wants all the smoke, fam. 90% of Kanye's discography is dog doo doo. Gaki. That's insane. I disagree so bad. Yeah, what happened? Yes. Yes. Eternal reviews. Lil Pump over Freddie Gibbs. Lil Pump self-titled over any Freddie Gibbs album. Hey, that that's hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> Aaron will get triggered. I mean, I fuck with Pump. I don't really listen to Freddie Gibbs like that. I don't agree with this take, but I mean, that's your opinion. You want to fuck with Lil Pump more, but that's 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 just false. You know what I'm saying? So Fago's overrated. I only listened to like two or three songs and it was cool, it was dope. But um, yeah, I guess I can agree. I don't know. 42 Doug is one of the best rappers to blow up in the last year or two. Nah. Hell no. I think he's pretty eh. Like, okay. He had a pretty dope verse on the Tyler shit, but other than that, who who really fucks with 42 bumping that shit? <laughs> one more great album and Tyler the Creator will be better than Kanye. Wow. I'll take a little sip to that. I'll take a little sip. That's crazy. That's crazy. Circles is the best posthumous album of all time. Hey, that shit was crafted beautifully. Perfect, bro. That album feels finished. It feels like what something that he would have wanted to create. You know, like that shit is really good. Such a calm album. Future over the weekend. Not a hot take. Kendrick over the game. Next, no one disagrees with you, dog. Facts. Astro, Rodeo, and Birds, uh, DBR. Wait, what is that? DBR. 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 What the fuck is that? I'm blanking out. Any future slash Uzi over better than those? Yeah, my head. Mm. I respect it, but eh, I don't know. Drake has some great singles, but his projects are all mid. Are all mid? No, 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 no. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. I thought Views was pretty mid, even though I really enjoyed it. I don't know. Riley Reed freestyle over a whole lot of red. Gunna over Young Thug. Not a hot take, bro. I mean, I, I don't agree, but that's not really that hot. Logic is overhated. Okay, whatever. Lil Wayne over Nas and Tupac. Okay, that's, that's kind of hot, but not really, honestly. Scorpion over the off season. Okay. I fuck with Scorpion. He popped up. Bro, stop. You you see I'm making a video, oh, bro. I forget about that light. You know what I'm Give me updates. Yes, like, that. I, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. This <laughs> guy, bro. Denzel Curry and X would make a great duo. Not a hot take. That's facts. DS2, the MMLP, and Kids See Ghost have to be the three most overrated albums of all time. Wow. <sighs> Kids See Ghost is definitely a little overrated. I'm gonna be honest. Like, the way the Instagram community be fucking putting that shit on a pedestal is ridiculous. It's a great album, but relax. Yachty's the most underappreciated artist ever? No. Ever? 
We talking what? Since the early 19 or 1800s? Like, no. You mean maybe of this generation? Maybe. Yachty's pretty underappreciated. I definitely agree with that. Except his latest project. That shit was trash. Yeah, like he said, one of the biggest Yachty fans, but he's been getting praise lately other than his last project. The best, the beat used in location by Cardi is the best beat that has been made in the last five years. Great beat. Great beat. But I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say the best five years. Great beat though. Okay, I'm gonna be honest and it's going to make a lot of people angry, but Revival is actually a pretty decent album and it's definitely overhated. Honestly, maybe, I don't know. I never even heard it, but the way the, the masses just constantly, most, I feel like 80% of the people that shit on the album probably haven't even heard it. You feel me? So the, in that defense, I can maybe never heard it. So people just like to go with the narrative. To Pimp a Butterfly isn't Kendrick's best album. It's still a great album, but yeah, I agree. Not really a hot take. Migos aren't that influential, yet everyone says they are. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think they definitely, you probably don't even realize it. You probably don't even realize that they're that influential, bro. The flows, just all that shit, bro. Maybe, I don't know. Uzi is the best trap artist, right? Honestly, I don't know. I, I'm, hold on a second. Like, Migos one of the first, like, trap groups to, like, be in fucking, like, festivals. Like, festivals that don't even got to do with rap. Like, they really brought that trap shit to the mainstream, like, that whole, I don't know. Uzi's the best trap artist right now. Oh my God, bro, where's the hot takes? A lot of people only, a lot of people only have their opinion on albums because they base it off of Fantano's opinion. That's true. That's very annoying as well. Whenever Fantano reviews an album, it, it ruins people's perceptions of shit. But I don't give a fuck. I think he gave High Off Life, like, a four. A three or a four. What?! the fuck out of here. That shit was top five for me, 2020. Any Playboy Cardi hot take are not from anyone over the age of 15. Facts. J.I.D. is one of the most creative lyricists in the game right now. I haven't listened to J.I.D. in years. <laughs> like two years. Old Lil Pump was amazing and will be able and will be able to be matched. Probably meant won't. Yeah, Old Lil Pump is gas, bro. Straight turn up shit. Pierre Bourne is the best trap artist ever. Oh my God. Absolutely false. The college dropout and get rich or die trying are the greatest date. Not a hot take. EA was not a bad album. Not a hot take. What the fuck? Call me if you get lost to Tyler's best. Oh my god, where's the hot takes, bro? <sighs> Cactus Jack is easily the best record label and easily has the best members. Each member plays their part perfectly. Sheck West, Don Tolliver, Sofago. Yeah, this is the ticket. Okay. That plate. Appreciate it. I'm just recording a video, okay? So give me a second. Thank you. Sorry. It's all right. Love you. Love you too. Piano G and Polo Guitar are super corny, but unfortunately are super accurate. Uh, you probably just don't really like Polo G then. Uh, it's like it's like a fucking double-edged sword. Like, damn if he does, damn if he don't. If he changes it up, people gonna not fuck with it. His hardcore fans not gonna fuck with it. If he keeps making it, his hardcore fans gonna still fuck with him. Like, if they didn't leak some of the OG Eternal to Take tracks back in 1819, it would have been one of the best albums of all time. Eh, I don't know about that, but hey, Eternal to Take still came out pretty fire. Cardi and Uzi are a better duo than Kanye and Cuddy? Eh, I don't know about that, man. I, I, that's something like a, you know, a younger person would say, I don't know. Machine Gun Kelly is overhated extremely. Tickets to my downfall, I still play that shit to this day. Top three for me in 2020. Polo G, the Hall of Fame was trash. Not a hot take. Shy Glizzy is top five underrated trap artists of this generation. Okay. Kind of a hot take. I haven't listened to him since fucking, I'm so fucking awesome. I'm so awesome, so I guess. I don't know. Hove over Tupac and Biggie, not a hot take. How did, how did you possibly think that's a hot take? Like Jay-Z is some scrub. It was top five all time. What are you saying? Call me if you get lost over the off season. Not a hot take. Lil Wayne had a huge influence on the rap scene and is a very good rapper, but is nowhere near a GOAT. So Lil Wayne is heavily overrated. Extremely disagree. I mean, someone, I, I don't know, man. You probably didn't grow up with Prime Wayne, like even before Prime Wayne, like the Carters or the Block is Hot. Like somebody who hasn't listened to Wayne from back then won't understand. Like if you just started listening to Lil Wayne last year, then maybe you could say that, but you bug it. Uzi's a little overrated. Yeah, I guess. People need to stop complaining about rappers like DaBaby or Polo G for not switching up their style. Yeah, exactly. I was just saying this. Pierre Bourne is pretty overrated when it comes to people talking about his rapping. 
Yeah. I guess people be praising this shit, especially in the underground rap community. I've seen someone say that T-Lop 4 Deluxe was better than 90% of trap projects last year. Like, come on, yeah, that's, he's pretty generic. Yeah, he is. I mean, I, I could fuck with him like certain songs, like here and there, I'll pick a couple songs out, but a whole project from beginning to end, that's a little rough. That shit gets boring. Destined to Win is one of the best albums of the year and it's like an eight out of 10. Okay. I enjoy Ye by Kanye West more than My Beautiful Dark Twin. It's not a hot take. That's your opinion. You enjoy it more. It's not even like you said it's better. Like, that's not a hot take. Kanye is a second trap. Cardi is second trap artist of all time right now. <sighs> Ever call me if you get lost. Every call me if you get lost track is better than every song off the off season. Disagree, but. Taboo by Denzel is the best album of 2018. Oh my God. Kendrick Lamar on title is better than any Logic album. Okay. That's kind of a hot take. E-M-K-E-J over everyone? I don't know what that means. Travis Scott's style is stale in 2021. Okay, that's kind of a hot take. Do you guys agree with that? Savage Mode 2 is criminally underrated based on its quality? That's not really a hot take, bro. That's kind of... Something that's true is, isn't really a hot take. Kodak is really good artist. He could be a top five rapper. Hell no. Hell no. Kodak is cool from song to song here and there, but no way. Lil Baby is the most lyrical trap rapper right now or ever? Hell no. You're, you're, living, you're, you're living in the moment like crazy, bro. Save Me is top three future. Kind of a hot take. That, that, that little EP is underrated. Moneybag Yo had the best album in 2021. I respect it. Snot should have been on the list. I think he turned it down. Yeah, he did that kind of. I'm sorry, because I know it's one of your favorite rappers, but Dirk is not, out, not all that. Huh. Repetitive beats and basic voice. I deadass fell asleep when I was listening to the voice, no joke. That's crazy. I wouldn't say it's that bad, bro. You bugging. He definitely could get repetitive and redundant, like especially if it's a long playlist. I mean a long album, but nah, Dirk is fire, bro. Polo G gets way too much hate. Not a hot take. Total Xanarchy from Lil Xan is an okay album and good SoundCloud rap album. Honestly, like I said, it's, a, it's like revival. I feel like 90% of the people that shit all over that album probably never heard it. Xanarchy, like who knows? Maybe it's all right for a SoundCloud tape. I don't fucking know. It's not terrible. Like, literally every hip-hop fan is saying it. Wake up to our decent songs. Okay, that's what's up. I respect this take. I respect it. Because he's saying it with his chest out. You feel me? Like, fuck, own up to what you like, bro. I respect that. I respect that shit. Heavy. Yup. SoundCloud aesthetic. Okay. Whole lot of Red is way better than Next. Views is top three Drake. Mac Miller's the best dead rapper. You said two hot takes, so Kid Cudi and Travis Scott over 2012 to 21 Kanye West? No way. I mean, Kid, no. I disagree. I mean, Kid Cudi after Man on the Moon 2 kind of declined, honestly, like in quality, in my opinion. I mean, the, the Ash, what's that shit? Balmain Jeans, I forgot the name of it. I had some good songs on there, but. And the 2016 Demon Slayer album had some very high moments, but overall it was okay. Man on the Moon 3 is his best project in 10 years. So I don't know. Young Thug is more of a singer who can rap? No, Young Thug is not a singer, boy. You don't know what singing is. My God. Sleepy Hollow's the best in the drill scene. Not a hot take. He's cool. Good Kid Mad Sit. Not a hot take, bro. This is terrible. Kanye's the GOAT when talking long jet. How is that a hot take, bro? Kanye's the go when talking longevity. He's the LeBron of hip hop. Who's denying that shit? People will complain that artists like Meg Thee Stallion are one dimension, one dimension, man, man, man. but listen to male artists that do the same thing. Yeah, I guess. If it isn't for Kanye, if it wasn't for Kanye being a scummy person, designer would probably be relevant. Eh, nah. That's more of a label thing. I don't think that he Kanye kind of put him on, bro. <laughs> Stop it. J. Cole is one of the most overrated artists of all time. Ooh, don't let my boy... Boy, Friday Night Vinyl is going to come on your... It's like, whoa. He's going to come to your doorstep and just shoot shoot the shit up. He's great and all that, but motherfucker swear he's one of the goats, which is just cap. Hey. Hey, yo, Friday Night Vinyl. Come at him. Come at him. But yo, that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, all that good shit. I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, man.